Hi everyone, my name is Pam Lee, otherwise known as the Blind Lady. Yeah, I'm here to help you sort through the mystery of window treatments. Things have come a long way, baby. They sure have. And I don't know what you have on your windows, or maybe you have a brand new home. Or maybe you just are tired of the plastic $5 Walmart blinds. Or maybe all your blinds are broken. And no matter what it is, I'm here to help you solve the mysteries of window treatments. Everybody has them. That's right, we all have windows. Otherwise, we wouldn't be living in a house because basically, by code, you have to have windows in your house. So, what kind of windows do you have? Well, most windows today are of the double hung variety. That's right, the bottom lifts up, the top portion stays stationary. And here in Florida, they're usually drywall wrapped. So that's what we're going to talk about, or is the drywall wrapped double hung window. Now, before I talk to any of my clients about window treatments, I always start with a variety of questions. For example, what are you trying to solve? Is there an issue with the window? Do you have sun issues? Do you have privacy issues? Do you have light issues? For example, you don't want light in a media room. You want blackout so you can see the movie. Or maybe it's a living room and you only want blackout when you're watching movies, but the rest of the time you want to enjoy your view. So these are the different aspects that we explore when looking at a, the proper window treatment for you because each product has particular uh, advantages and disadvantages. The first blind that comes to mind for drywall wrapped double hung window is the two inch faux wood blind. That's pretty standard. You can find those at the big box stores. Usually they'll cut them down for you. However, I really don't recommend that. Uh, my blinds that I sell can match the price, if not maybe a little bit lower than the cut down versions. And these are custom made exactly for you. For example, on the cut down versions, you might have rough edges if they hadn't cut their saw blade recently. But these have been made particularly for your window. And the thing about a two inch faux wood is it's just like the little mini versions that everyone is used to, but the louvers, which is what this is right here, or slats, um, are wider. This one here is a two inch wide louver. This is the standard one and they have holes in them where the strings uh, are to keep them in place and also for the tilt. These blinds have two specific different functions and there is the tilt function and then there is the lift function. Most windows don't get lifted unless you need to clean them or open your window. For the most part people are going to be using the tilt so that you can adjust the light that's coming in to your your likes, to what you like. Um, they also add privacy so that covers your privacy. And this particular one has got an aluminum headrail on it. And this part right here is called the valance. And so the valance is actually covering the headrail so you don't see it. But this one is metal. And it has all metal moving parts in it. Very high quality. Uh, and then it, this one has a return on it. If you get it from the box stores, those don't have returns because, of course, they're cut to different lengths but these have an actual return. So normally what we do is we mount this inside your window casing and then the cornice wraps around so that it's actually on the wall. Nice look. The only problem that I find with this particular blind is that the longer your window, like say for example your window is um, between 59, 60 inches or longer than that, there is a problem with the bottom of them does not close as tightly. So in that situation, what I do for any windows that are longer than say around 60 inches long, what I do is I recommend this version of the blind. This one doesn't have any holes. So we call it no holes or routeless. And it actually will close up tighter at the bottom. This particular one is also a two and a half inch slat versus the two inch slat. So if you can see, this one, these are closer together 
and these are further apart. So the larger your slat, the more distance you're going to have, which if you do have a nice view or you want in more light or whatever, then this one gives you a plus there's less cleaning. We all like less cleaning, don't we? Isn't that what drives you crazy about those little mini blinds from Walmart is they're always dust collectors and you can't clean the darn things. Luckily they break after a couple of years. You gotta get new ones whether they, they're clean or not. But this product is uh, comes with a, a five year warranty. I'm, I usually warranty my product. For every buy it from me, I'll take care of you. It's my philosophy. But the company is an American company. They're made over here on the east side of Florida. I have visited the factory. I never represent any product that I don't wholeheartedly endorse and wouldn't put in my own home. And these I certainly would. Um, they're made out of, they're called faux wood. Now, the reason they're called faux wood is they're not actually wood. They're a compilation of different materials. Wood is involved. It's one of the components, but it's not a full up wood blind. Now, I don't recommend wood blinds in Florida for one simple reason, wood warps. In Florida, we have a particular issue with the humidities and the windows and the heat that will really make them warp. I saw some one time, it looked like it was a pretzel stick, I wanted to throw salt on it. But wood warps, and it warps especially worse here in Florida. Now, if you look at wood blinds, so there's something else that I want you to keep in mind that the wood blinds are actually made out of a bass wood. It can, it can be confusing because you'll look at it and it'll say oak or maple or birch, but those are the stain colors. It's not actually a wood oak wood blind. It's not a birch wood blind. It's not a cherry wood blind. They're all made out of bass wood and then they're painted. And bass wood warps. So I don't recommend it. That's why I recommend in Florida that you get what's called the faux wood blind. And that would be this one here. Again, uh, same head rail system as this one. The only difference is the size of the slats and the fact that it doesn't have any holes. If you're looking for something to give you the most light uh, preventative, this one, I must say, the holes do let in some light even when they're closed. This one closes up a lot tighter and it is a bit of an upcharge but I believe that it's worth it and I think my customers will agree as well.